it's you, it's Meg, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am finally showing my updated photo card collection. It's been almost a year since the first time I ever showed my photo card collection, and oh my god, has it grown. I have, I think, seven or eight binders now, and I'll kind of explain that more as we get into it if you aren't already aware of why I have that many binders. But yes, I'm sorry for the long wait, so let's just go ahead and get right into it, starting with my boy binders. Now, I have two ginormous boy group binders because I just don't have room to fit them all in one because I just have so many cards because one, boy groups have a lot of comebacks, and two, they tend to include a lot of things in their albums. And I also want to apologize for the shadows. There is no good lighting right now. I live in the Midwest, which if you don't know, is very gloomy around this time. There's no sunlight. So yes. Starting off with Astro, I did technically drop them per se. I'm not sure what I still want to collect. I might still buy releases for them, but I did sell some of their albums. Next up, I have 80s. And then back here are some freebies. Next up, I have JBJ, and this has JBJ95 and Kim Donghan in here as well, which I think I'm gonna end up moving Donghan stuff because he's in a group now. So I probably will move his stuff with we i because i am going to be as of right now collecting them so we'll see but basically i do have jbj and jbj 95 on this page and then some kim dong han next up we have nct which i mainly collect nct 127 and wavy um i'm not the biggest fan of dreams music that's the only reason why i don't buy their albums but i do love and support them So on this page we have 127, and then more 127, and then we have Wavy. And then a freebie card on the back because I honestly had nowhere else to put it. And next up I have Oneus, which this is one of my favorite cover sheets. I love that I was able to use the stickers like that, I just think it's so cute. And then we have two, which is a new collection. And then back here we have my rest of my boy groups, mainly groups that I don't necessarily collect or I they only have one or two cards as of right now. This is my old cover sheet, which is why it's here. And then I have the new cover sheet or the, well, the newer cover sheet here. It's just a divider. So I will go ahead and say the group name for each card, not the album or who it is, just because that would take a lot of work. So first up, we have Blank7, seven, Got7, seven, JJ Project, and then this is Snooper. This is my Make Star certificate, which is why like there's this orange bar here because it says my full name. And then we have some BTS, CN Blue, Monsta X, more Monsta X, and then Got7, K and K. And then all of these are Got7. And then this is technically just two. Snooper. All three of these are BTS and Flying. More and Flying. And then BTS. Link 7, Block B Boss Stars, C and Blue, K and K, as well as these two, The Legend, Monsta X, and Flying, Newest, One Wee, Shuai, Snooper. And then on this page, technically all by himself, is Vix. And then I have some freebies. This is just two, and then this is a Super Junior one. And then that is it for this binder. 
Next up, we have my top boy groups binder. I don't collect anyone in here. These are just groups that I may buy multiple versions for or have just a ton of cards for and they don't fit in the other binder. So first up, we have EXO, which I really should give them a new cover sheet because this one is very faded. And on this page, I have their subunit, so I have CBX and then SC, and then some freebies. And then we have Pentagon, which I really should work on this collection more. That's kind of one of my goals next year is to just finish them. I'm missing two of their older albums and then their most newest one I haven't bought yet. I'm still forever happy about this card. I love it so much. I'm so happy that I have a Dawn. I'm just really missing Yannin that I really want. And I'm happy that I will have a chance to pull him in the new album because he's finally back, yay. <laughs> and then some freebies. And then we have 17, which is kind of a mess because they have a lot of different sized inclusions. So they go all over the place, but I did the best I could to keep it as neat and tidy. And then more freebies on the back page. And then we have SF9, which this is one of the few groups that I keep the postcards from the album inside here that weren't like random. And the reason why is because they came kind of separately. They were like attached to the album and I just didn't want to risk them getting ruined. And I actually really enjoy these pictures. So I decided to keep them in here. So next up we have Super M and I am not collecting Tame and stuff for Super M even though I kind of want to. I just don't like that I would collect him but not keep him in my shiny binder if that makes sense. So lastly, in this binder, I have my Produce X 101 section, which this includes all of the groups that I personally collect from this season. And it's all over the place and I will explain a little bit better. Also, please ignore how badly this cover sheet is. I am aware, but I'm honestly too lazy to fix it. So yes. So first up, we have some X1 stickers and some X1 postcards. And then Lee Jinhyuk, BDC, X1, Kim Woosuk, HND, Lee Jinhyuk. And then we have Boy or B O Y, Kim Woosuk, HND, more HND, BDC, Lee Jinhyuk, X1. And then we have Boy again. BDC, H&D for the rest of the four. Kim 
Musuk and then Lee Jin Hyuk and then the start of my Woods collection. I loved his photo cards so much for his Equal album that I decided to buy another set of albums to get better photo cards. So I have his first two stamps and then I have the My Music Taste, I believe, exclusive cards and then one of his stickers. And then here I have a whole page of just woods. This is the sticker here, but all of these are photo cards. This is my favorite, hence why it's in the middle. And then these two are my second and third favorites. Honestly, I just adore these cards so much. There's one card that I really want, but I'm not on the hunt for it. So I probably won't end up buying it. And then back here are just X1 cards. And then that is it for this binder. Next up, we have my girl group binder. This is the last like ginormous binder that I have. So let's just go ahead and get right through it. So you can't really see, but off to the side, I do have some stickers of twice. All right, so A-Pink. And I do have Unji's solo stuff in here as well, which are these two postcards. And then some of the group cards and then her solo cards. CLC and then Everglow which I'm really bummed out that I can't find a way to easily store the newest album's postcards. I honestly can't remember the name of the album. It's a bunch of numbers. But here we have the rest of their cards and I was so happy to finally pull a Shihun and then I do have an EU as well and I'm just so happy. Yes. And the holographic cards are so pretty. And then Gugudon, which I really really missed lately. I hope they come back soon but I know they probably won't because Sally is in Bon Bon Girls which she is living her best life and I honestly wasn't a biggest fan of the song, but I enjoyed just like Sally showing off all of the potential she has. And then we have Luna. And then we have Mamamoo, which I am so excited for their new album, and I love that it's green. I just, I can't wait for the day that I can, like, put all their albums in rainbow order. I think it will look so pretty. And then here I have their three solos. And then we have Nine Muses. Kristen. Red Velvet. And then back here are some freebies. And then we have Rocket Punch, which is a newer group that I decided to collect. And these are the sticker sheets. I do need to put a white piece of paper in here so they separate, especially because I adore the Blue Punch stickers so much because I adore the sea, like whales and sharks are my favorite animals. So I want to be able to show those off a little bit better. And then we have Secret Number, which sounds like they are having a comeback and I'm so excited because Denise has hot pink hair and she looks amazing and black hair Ginny, oh my god. And then Weekly, which I'm so excited for my albums to come in. I really liked their comeback. And then WJSN, which is another comeback I really enjoyed. 
I really needed that subunit release. Like, oh my god. I used to adore orange caramel so much and Kokome really gave off those vibes so I really enjoyed it and I can't wait to get my copy of the album whenever I get around to buying it. And then we have all of my miscellaneous girls. Again, this is my old cover sheet as well as the back side. So we have Sanamu starting off. Eyes one. Arya's Daya. Daya favorite. And then these are all girls' day. And then Haney. More Haney. Song Jiyun and Unity. And then Waki Meki, Blackpink. G Idol and Twice. And the reason why these are kind of like out of order is because these three are freebie cards that I've gotten, which is why I put them in the back. And then a whole page of just Blackpink. Blackpink, Song Jiyun, and Sunmi. And then we have Arya's, Very Good. Bestie, and then these four cards are Blackpink, Belshabet, Daya, Girls' Day, Fanatics, Favorite, Jun Hyosung, Laboom, Rainbow, Secret, Sistar, Sanamu, Song Jiyun, Sunmi, Daya, oh no that's not Daya, well technically yes, it's Unity, and then these two, hello? These two are Unity and then these two are Weki Meki and I'm so happy I was able to trade for Arena card because I adore her so much. And then back here I have a bunch of twice freebies that I decided to keep over time and then a random page that has my little tag in it, I guess. <laughs> but that is it for this binder. So before I get into my individual collections, I wanted to show off this binder first. It is my day six collection. They do have their own binder, but I don't actually collect anyone for this group. The only reason why they have their own binder is because they have a lot of stuff and they didn't fit in my top boys group binder anymore. So I had to boot them out and give them their own binder. I did have a decal on the way, but it got lost in the mail, which is just fantastic. So yes. And back here, these are the Sub K pre-order cards, and I just realized that there is no filler sheet here, which is kind of awkward. But I miss when Sub K did like full group pre-order sets instead of you just get one. Uh, and then I have my concert photo cards. And then freebies. And then that is it for my day six binder. All right, so moving on to my individual binders and my smaller binders, we're gonna start off with this one, which is my newest one, and then work our way up to the biggest binder that I have in my individual collection. So this binder houses Gaehyun and Sungsik. I have not ordered a vinyl for them yet, just because I'm not sure if I wanna keep them in this actual binder, because it is a little small. So we'll just have to see. But starting off, I do have Dreamcatcher in here. And the reason why I have Dreamcatcher first is just because Dreamcatcher is before Victon. That's the only reason why. So I do collect Gaihyun, like I said. So I have all of her stuff first. So I have her Dystopia standees. And then Alone in the City, which I do have this card on the way. 
and then I have end of nightmare which I believe the only one I am missing are these two and they are like the last cards I need because I have this one in storage at Neo Kyo. And then Raid of Dream, which this is one of my favorite cards. Dystopia, the Tree of Language, which I am so happy this set is complete. It looks so nice all together. This is the My Music Taste card. And I just love the setup of this. And then we have the Lose Myself cards. These are the selfie cards. I have this one in storage and I'm just looking out for this one. And then these are the concept cards. I do have this one lined up for a trade, but I'm currently waiting for it to arrive at their house so that they send out my card. And it went to Canada, so I'm kind of scared that it might have gotten lost in the mail, which is fine if it did, but I'll be sad. But I am missing this card, so help a girl out. And then this starts the rest of my cards because I do keep majority of my pulls. So we have a freebie from Rain of Dream. And then the Dystopia standees, which I was going to sell one of these, but I kind of like that all forfeit on a page, so I don't know. And then we have Alone in the City, End of Nightmare, Raid of Dream, Dystopia Tree of Language, and then Lose Myself. And then more Lose Myself cards, and then the stickers for Lose Myself, and then this was a freebie. And these were a K-Town pre-order benefit, I believe, for Raid of Dream, but I'm honestly not too sure. So starting off, I do have the Nostalgia postcard in storage at Neo Kyo, and then I have his Mayday standee. And then I have one of the postcards from Mayday. I do actually have the other one, it's just with my sister, so I'm waiting to get it. And then we have Voice of the New World, Ready, Identity, from Victon, which unfortunately I have nothing, as well as Time of Sorrow, which I don't actually own this album just yet, so I don't have any cards from it. And then Nostalgia. And then these are all continuous, which this is another card I believe got lost in the mail, which is so sad, but it's whatever. I'm also not sure if I will actually get around to buying this card because I actually really haven't seen it for sale. And then I have all three of his Mayday cards. And then some Songsik freebies. And then I have the rest of my victim stuff. So we have Nostalgia and then Hong Sung Woo's solo stuff. And then this page is kind of a mess, but I do have all of this is Victon and then this is Sung Woo. And then that is it for this binder. Next up, I have one of my favorite collections and it is my Yuna and FX collection. And the reason why it's one of my favorites is because it is the only complete binder that I own which makes me really happy that they are complete and it makes me even happier that I decided to collect Yuna because she has been incredibly easy and I'm having a lot of fun collecting her. So starting off with FX which I do collect OT5 for them. We have my pink tick cover, my electric shock group card, and then this is a card that someone sent me that I thought was just too cute not to put in here. And then we have my OB strips and my red light stickers. And then we have Electric Shock, which features the new ABO group card, pink tape, red light, and four walls, which eventually I do want to get around to getting the Japanese releases of four walls, but they're honestly impossible to find. So this is complete in my eyes, but one day it might actually be complete. And then we have Amber Solo and Luna Solo. And then a bunch of freebies. And then we have Itzy, which I do collect Yuna. So I have her It's Me postcard. This is some freebies. And then all of her pre-order postcards, as well as her tattoo and another pre-order. Then I have the It's Icy cards. It's Me. The Not Shy solo cards, which this is the withdrama, and then this is sub K. And then her unit cards. And then I have the rest of my Itzy stuff. So I have Rujin and the group covers for It's Me. And then I have this fan art that I was sent with a pin I bought, and I thought it was just way too pretty to not include in my binder. And then the It's Icy stickers, Yeji's pre-orders, Leah's pre-orders. Rujin, 
and then Chaerong, and then the Not Shy Propose cards. And then here, it's kind of all over the place, but we have It's Icy, and then It's Me, Not Shy, and then Not Shy. And then I just have some freebies as well, and that is it for this binder. Next up, we have my Sunye collection. I did have a vinyl ordered, but it's another thing that I think got lost in the mail, which is just great. But I do adore this binder so much, and I have made a lot of progress with it, and I am so excited to show it off. First up, we have the cover sheet, the Remember Me letter, and then we have Secret Garden, Remember Me, the Japanese cards, we have Banana Allergy Monkey, and then Eternally. And then on the first page, we have Cupid, Pink Ocean, and Windy Day. Listen to My Word and Coloring Book. And then we have Secret Garden, which I'm so happy this is finally complete. And then Banana Allergy Monkey, which even though I'm still missing four cards from this collection, I am still so happy to have more than just the one I pulled. I never thought I would have more than just this one, so I love that I have three now. It just makes me so incredibly happy, and they're so cute, so. And then we have Remember Me, which I do have this card lined up to buy, which is very exciting. And then up at the top, I have The Fifth Season, and then at the bottom here, I have Bungie. And then we have the non-stop cards, which this is another card I have lined up to buy. So I will only be missing this one, which is kind of funny because I've only saw it for sale once. I had it and then buy canceled it. So fun. And then I do collect some of her Polaroids. Sungi is kind of a collection where I kind of collect what I can and when I have the money for it. So I would like to get more of her Polaroid sets, but we will see. But I do have her Banana Allergy Monkey, and then Remember Me. And then Bungie, her Lips Polaroid, and then Nonstop. Then I have the rest of my Oh My Girl stuff. So first off, we have the coloring book coloring page, Hyojung's Remember Me letter, the fifth season standee, Pink Ocean postcard, and then I have Binnie's Paper Plane, my Eternally postcard, and then some freebie postcards. And then I have Yua's Solo Bon Voyage postcard. And then I do have Closer, Secret Garden, Remember Me, and then some Obi strips. These three are from Banana Allergy Monkey. And then I have the Japan debut album, their second album, and then their third album, Obi strips. So then I have all of my random photo cards. So I have Cupid, Windy Day, Listen to My Word, Coloring Book, Secret Garden, Remember Me. More Remember Me, The Fifth Season, and then Bungie Nonstop, and then more Nonstop, and then I have Yua's Solo again, and then a freebie card, and then that is it for this page. And actually this binder, this whole binder is done. All right, now for my Ace collection, which I don't collect any member, I just collect one card per member per era. I know that sounds kind of weird. It will make more sense as we flip through, I promise. I do want to point out that this is one of my favorite cover sheets, by the way. I just, I don't know. I love the music notes and the lightning bolts. I just think it looks so cool. So first up, I have my Adventures in Wonderland standees, my calling stickers, and then the season's greeting postcards. And then randomly my Mad Squad tattoo set. And then more Seasons Greeting postcards. And then these are from their US tour photo book. And then this was a freebie and then some more freebies. And then the Clover stickers. And then I have my Butterfly Fantasy bookmarks. I am only missing Chan's. And then we have my calling collection, which I do have a full set because I got the Make Star album. And then Adventures in Wonderland, I only have Dong Hoon and a Unicard for the day version. And then for night, I only have Byung Kwan in another unit. And then we have Undercover. And then we have Mad Squad, which I do have Byung Kwan in storage. I'm only missing Chan. 
And then for Butterfly Fantasy, I have the full Sub K pre-order set as well as the ID cards. And then I have two sets for Butterfly Fantasy. So I have this first set. Again, it's not a full set. As you can see, the cards aren't necessarily cohesive. So that's kind of why it's a little confusing because I don't necessarily want like a complete set. I just want one card per member. So I know it's a little weird. It's also really hard to explain to other people when I'm trading, so it's fine. Um, and then I do have one of the special cards here. This is the Byungkwan, Wow, and Donghoon unit. And then my second set of Butterfly Fantasy cards. And then I have one of the group cards. And I kind of want to trade this for the other group card just because I feel like it will look better overall. And then I have the US tour photo cards I got from the High Touch, Seasons Greeting photo cards, and then the US tour photo book cards. These is one set as well as the bookmarks, and then the other set. And then back here I have some of the fanship cards, which are really pretty. They have the prettiest backs. And then some freebies that I've gotten at the two concerts I've gone to. And that is all for this binder. Now we have my shiny collection, which has my second favorite cover, and I'm not too sure if I actually talked about this. I did post my templates on my Instagram, but I think that's really it. I'm not too sure if I mentioned it in a video, but I did decide to collect OT5 shiny again, and I am having so much fun doing it, and I'm so glad I decided to do that again. And I have different priorities going through, so I'll kind of explain as I'm going through. So I do also want to point out that I have this adorable photo of Minho off to the side as well as some like little heart cards. So first up I have my Sherlock group card which funnily enough when I bought it I actually didn't know it was that big. I thought it was a normal nine pocket so that just shows that you should do more research before you buy cards. And then I have one of my Taemin want postcards. And then I have my boys meet you clear files. And then I have some freebie postcards, which are actually really pretty, and I adore them so much. And then I have my Taemin stuff. These are from his newest album. It's really hard to see because they're transparent. Okay, so I found a random bubble mailer, but you'll see that, like, there is stuff underneath, and it's actually really pretty. So, yeah. I do need to put fillers behind there, but I haven't gotten around to it just yet because I literally just put them in my binder. But these are from Act 1. And then I have some 101 merch cards and then Obi strips and then a Taman's Dandy. And so here we have the start of my OT5 collection. I only collect Korean album cards for OT5. For Japanese, I just collect Minho. So starting off, we have Lucifer. Sherlock. And then I always get these mixed up, but I'm pretty sure this is Misconception of Me. Nope, I was wrong. It's you. This is Misconception of You. And then Misconception of Me. And then Misconception of Us. Everybody. And then the Everybody bookmarks. And then we have Odd. And the other set of Odd. Married to the Music one of one which is the only like oddball thing i've ever collected and then one and one and the other set of one and one and then here starts the story of light so i have ep1 and then ep2 at the bottom and then ep3 and then epilogue this is set one and then set two which is really sad i know and then i have Boys Meet You, I'm Your Boy, and then five for some random Japanese cards. And then I have my 2018 Seasons Greeting photo cards, and then the start of my Minho collection. So for Minho, since he is my ultimate boy bias, I collect all of his cards. So he is the only one that I actually collect Japanese cards for. And for his Japanese cards, I'm collecting the cards even if I don't necessarily have the album because I'm not sure if I want to get all of their like single albums just yet, but I do have Replay, Lucifer, and then the first. Yep, the first. <laughs> Fire, Boys Meet You, I'm Your Boy. And then we have five, or Dance Dance Dance, not five, Dance Dance Dance. 
And then here are my solo cards. So first up, I have Onu, and I have this card on the way. And then we have Jonghyun, we have Base, she is. And then Story Up, these are the photo and then the essay cards. And then I have Key, this is Face, and I do have these two cards on the way. And then I Wanna Be, Two Heart, and then Taemin's Ace. And then we have Press It, Move, the other set of Move, and then Moving, Want, and then the other set of want, and then I have act one, innocent, and suspect. And then back here I have some star cards and a freebie card, and then that is it for my shiny collection. And once again, I am really happy that I am collecting them again, and I can't wait for myself to make more progress. Last but not least, we have my Taeyeon collection, and the reason why I waited to show her is because I never really get to talk about this, but Taeyeon is just as much as my ultimate bias as Amber and Minho are. Like, I feel like people are very like, you only can have like a female and a male ult, which is not true. You can have more than one. So I have three in total. Taeyeon is one of them. And my channel is named after her, and she honestly is one of my biggest collections because these are just her cards in here. I do have Girls' Generation cards in here as well, but her solo collection almost like makes it up to my shiny collection. The binder is just as thick, if not thicker, and it's just one of my pride and joy collections. I am pretty much complete, which is just makes me so happy because I never thought I would be this close to finishing her so yes so it is my pride and joy collection so I can't wait to finally show you guys how much progress I've made so I do again have this cute photo of her off to the side so we have the cover sheet and then I have my hoot stickers here honestly because I didn't know where else to put them and then we have a purpose postcard and then a freebie postcard and then the repack envelopes and then I have some of her standees so these are from purpose and then these are the repack ones which they like to slide around apparently and then the repack postcards and then here are her actual photo cards so we have oh hoot the boys mr. taxi twinkle holler lionheart and you think I, Dear Santa, Why? And then we start the very long My Voice collection. This took me quite a bit of time, but I have the fine cards, I Got Love, and the deluxe cards. And then we have Holiday Night, the holiday and night version. This Christmas, Something New. Little Touch, which this is the only photo card I am missing. And so then I have the purpose cards. We have the red backs, the black backs, and then these are the deluxe versions. And then down here we have the repack cards, which the beige and then the purple. And then here are all the photo cards from the standees. And then here starts the rest of my Girls' Generation cards because again, I keep my polls. And there was a while that I was collecting OT9 and I decided to stop that because it was almost impossible. So I I couldn't take it anymore. So we have, this is from Run Devil Run, which I wish they would have made these photos into photo cards because look how cute they are. And then my Mr. Mr. stickers, my OGG postcards, and then one singular OB strip. And then we have some of my group cards. So we have O, Hoot, Mr. Taxi, which this is the first photo card I ever pulled in an album from Girls' Generation and I adore it. And then we have Holler, You Think, Dear Santa. And then I have the rest of the Lionheart cards. So I did have a full collection. This was actually the only collection I completed before I decided to stop collecting OT9. So yeah, <laughs> I decided to keep it. And then we have Holiday Night, Little Touch, and then these are the actual Kino cards from Little Touch. And then the rest of them. And then the OGG, like, I don't remember what these are called, but they almost are photo cards, but they're not. And then I have solos, so we have Jessica's three solos, 
Tiffany's two solos, Yeri, Yuna, and Soyeon. And then I have my star card collection, which I still know nothing about, but I think they're cute and I got them for really cheap, so why not? And I believe this one I still have two of, if I can get them out. Yep, I still have two. <laughs> and then I have some freebie cards back here that I just couldn't get rid of because they are the most adorable cards I have ever seen. And then I have more freebie cards, which I know some of these are actual like merch cards, like this freestyle card. I always see people trying to buy it. So yeah, I just got them for free and then even more. And then that is it. That is my entire photo card collection. It has grown quite a bit from last time. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for being patient and waiting for this update. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.